Hi all, welcome back to our channel My Bio Notes. So in this video, we will be discussing about the biotechnology and its application in agriculture. So before going into the video, please subscribe our channel and also click the bell button for more updates from our channel. So come, let's see about this topic of biotechnology and its application in agriculture. So what is biotechnology? So bi biotechnology. So here both technology and uh, something biological is involved, right? So here uh, the industrial scale production of biopharmaceuticals and biologicals is done using genetically modified microbes, fungi, plants and animals. So biopharmaceutical, what biopharmaceutical you can say as an example is, you can say insulin or any vaccine. So, it is a biological medical product and it is made from living cells or it can be uh, produced by any biotechnological method. You call it as a biopharmaceutical or any biological from a living like micro, fungi, plant and animal you call it as a biological. So, that is biotechnology. Coming to the applications of biotechnology where all this uh, biotechnology is applied is in therapeutics that is in the treatment of certain diseases diagnostics and the preparation of kid like that and the genetically modified crops for agriculture that you are going to discuss it today and the processed food so the treatment of food to increase the shelf life of the food so there it's applied and bioremediation so the microbes know they are used to break down the environmental pollutants or they consume the pollutants that you call it as a bioremediation though so the microbe acts as a remedy so bioremediation and waste treatment like the industrial effluent textile effluent treatment we use fungi microbe bacteria like that for the wastewater treatment and also in energy production so in energy production means ethanol hydrogen methane butanol production and all we use microbes next coming to the topic actually we apply biotechnology in agriculture mainly to increase the food production so we need to increase the food production by mainly we can increase it by three methods how means agrochemical based agriculture organic agriculture and genetically engineered crop based agriculture so these are the three main ways by which you can increase the food production so here you can you uh, we are going to discuss about the GEC that, 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 that is the genetically engineered crop based agriculture so here the genetically what is a genetically modified organism GMO is that plants bacteria fungi and animals whose genes have been altered by gene manipulation so the these uh, organism that is a plant bacteria fungi animal th those genes know they are altered so manually so uh, by skillful labor so we are going to control the gene and use the gene for useful purpose for our benefit so we are going into, uh, to do it by gene manipulation example is bt cotton pest resistant plants come under gmo in coming to the bt cotton here bacillus thuringiensis is the organism which is used which is a bacterium actually so bacillus thuringiensis is a bacterium so this why this bacterium gets importance here in uh, modifying a plant because the back this is a bacterium this is a plant right why what is the connection between a bacterium and a plant is that this bacterium that that is a bacillus thuringiensis it produces a toxin which we call it as a bt toxin it is produced from the bt toxin gene so you all know it is a protein this toxin is a protein if it is a protein it must have a gene which must have expressed this protein that is the bt toxic toxin gene so this 
toxin if you see it is it acts as an insecticide so what is an insecticide a substance which kills or destroys an insect you, you call it as an insecticide so this gene produces the toxin which is harmful to which is poisonous to the insects insects or the worms which uh, causes diseases in this plant so this bt toxin gets importance uh, in this cloning of the plant because it's going to help the plant to become resistant to become immune to this uh, worms and the insect attack so that only this bacterium gets important here in this cloning of plants so we are going to clone this bt toxin gene into the plant to become the plant plant resistant to the insect so when we clone the toxin gene into the plant it gets expressed and the bt toxin no it gets expressed inside the plant so what happens when it gets expressed inside the plant the toxin the plant becomes resistant to the particular worm or an insect that we'll see in detail in our next slides so this cloning provides resistance for plants to insects without the use of insecticides so to increase crop production they use insecticides no which are chemical so it destroys the soil also the soil also gets destroyed in this use of insecticides so uh, you think of a plant which is naturally resistant to this uh, insects and insect attack on, or a worm attack it will be uh, it will give us more yield right so it acts as a bio pesticide so the pesticide derived from any na natural materials that you call it as a bio pesticide it can be from animal plant bacteria or certain minerals also you call it as a bio pesticide even canola oil or a baking soda you call it as a bio pesticide so in this case this plant itself act as a bio pesticide it protects itself from the insect attack example is bt cotton rice tomato potato and soya bean etc you can say so you you have to remember the organism name bacillus uh, this is a bacillus thuringiensis so this produces the protein which kills the insects uh, coleopterans dipterans everything so insect uh, this uh, this is the order of the insect lepidopteran so under this order tobacco budworm armyworm everything gets killed by this toxin bt toxin and also coleopterans mainly beetles come under coleopterans and dipterans are two winged insects or flies here uh, in uh, lepidopteran mainly in this order butterfly and moths come actually so th this protein targets this whole thing insects everything it kills and it is an insecticidal so we call the protein as an insecticidal so it kills the insect it is toxic yeah it, the protein is toxic the protein crystals are formed during a particular phase of the growth of the bacterium so during the particular phase of the growth of the bacteria it produces this protein crystals this crystal contains this in insecticidal protein now the bacteria is going to help the plant to become resistant see how it uh, the mode of action is so the pro toxin pro enzyme pro means it is an inactive form of an enzyme you call it as a pro enzyme in the same way pro toxin it is an inactive form so this protoxin it's inactive when it goes into the gut of the insect due to the alkaline ph in the gut of the insect it becomes active which toxin the bt toxin becomes active now after the toxin becomes active what it's going to do so the activated toxin it binds to the surface of bed gut of epithelial cells so the mid gut epithelial cells the outer cells it binds with the 
that the toxin and it causes cell swelling and lysis the cell gets bulged and the cell death occurs thereby the insect dies so this is the mode of action of the toxin and also due to the alkaline ph the that is solubilization uh, 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 that uh, crystal bt crystal and the crystal form is the first produced by the insect that gets dissolved thereby the toxin is released out and it causes death of the insect and that you you if you are going to choose the gene for this cloning of the plant to become it insect resistant you first it, it depends on the crop and the target pest so which pest it has to kill and which crop you are going to select depending on that you have to select the gene and you have to remember the gene name here it is a cry gene you can remember it as c r y cry right so it is going to make the insect cry so remember it like that uh, cry so the insect is going to cry and die because of this cry gene so this produces the toxin and cry 1a c controls cotton ball worms and cry 2a b control corn borer so you have to remember the gene names so thank you all for watching my video uh, you if you like my video do subscribe our channel and also click the bell button for more updates from our channel happy learning to you all thank you